Welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this video, I am going to tell you how you can clear AWS certified AI practitioner exam. This is a relatively new exam in the world of AWS certifications, but I did it and I did it with less effort. You can also do it with less effort, not spending too much of time. And let me guide you through the process of how you can do it. Let's start. So guys, let's go to Google and search for AWS certified AI practitioner. And the first link you are going to get is this AWS official page. This is about the exam, all the details, but you have to simply go here and click on this link called review the exam guide. And once you go to this guide, you are going to open a page like this, a PDF like this, just download this PDF and then you can read everything about this exam. As I told you, this exam is not so difficult to do. So all of you must plan for this exam, whether you are a technical person, whether you are into AI or not into AI, but take my advice guys plan for this exam and then in the LinkedIn like I am showing here you can show as well for example I am showing here AWS certified AI practitioner I cleared August 2025 only there are two more I have cleared but don't worry about these I did it in the past you focus on certified AI practitioner only so let's understand a little bit more about what the exam is so this is an exam intended for individuals who can effectively demonstrate overall knowledge of AI generative AI and associated services and tools of AWS. So basically you should know foundation of these things. It's not a um, specialty or expert level exam, foundation level exam, okay? So it will uh, validate your understanding of AI ML, appropriate use of that, correct types of AI ML, use AI ML, et cetera. There will be, uh, there are services here given that you should know, but I will tell you where to read about those. And then um, these are some of the details, but I'm going to tell you what are the uh, sections or modules of the exam. So fundamentals of AI and ML is 20%. Fundamentals of generative AI is 24%. Application of foundation models is 28%. And guidelines for responsible AI is 14%. And security compliance and governance for AI is 14%. So this makes total 100%. Now, I will take two approaches here. One, somebody who is into AI and who know basics of AWS or basics of AI. So basically you are in some way or other related to uh, data science or AI and AWS as well. For those guys, right? I will say you simply go and take this Udemy course. So there is a Udemy course here. This is called Ultimate AWS Certified AI Practitioner AIFC01. And the author is very well known author in the world of Udemy. Stefan Marek. So you can simply go and take this course. As I was telling you, this course will, it is showing you purchase this course on August 5. So I have already purchased this course and I also referred this course only. So you can go and this is not an affiliate thing, guys. I just like this. So I am telling you this. No, no affiliates here. Okay. So all the things, all the modules you can do. And after every module, you will see a quiz. So that quiz you can take and you can understand your knowledge of that. But more important thing is before even starting this, you should have an idea of what kind of questions will be asked, right? That idea you should have in the real exam. So for that, I'm going back to that page, which we opened in the beginning. You can click on four step plan here. And here you will get a link to attend a demo exam that I suggest you do in the beginning only. So when you do this, you do in the beginning only. So this is the one official practice question set AWS certified AI practitioner. So you have to go here and you can take these 20 questions will be there and you will know what kind of questions come in the exam. And then you can um, align your preparation in this course on the basis of that basically. That is for people who know a little bit of AI, ML, generative AI and who are associated with the field. But what if somebody is very new? If you are very new, right? First of all, you should go to Unfold Data Science playlist. And my most watched playlist in Unfold Data Science is AWS for Data Science. Go to this playlist and click on this playlist. And you are going to get here how many videos? You are going to get here around 20 videos on all the services. What is AWS? What is cloud computing? From the beginning till, till the end of how to build an end-to-end -end project in AWS Bedrock. All the things you are going to get in this playlist, guys, if you are new to AWS, then go and watch this entire playlist. You will have an idea of what all services and what all um, tools are available in AWS. In the end, you do one or two projects, you will be able to understand how the things work. And then you go to Stephen's course 
you take it like a revision you do it and stephen's course also in the end you will have a, a demo exam basically so you see here preparation for the exam plus practice question so here also you can take this practice exam so till now you took two practice exam one before stephen's course and one in the end of stephen's course okay so before stephen's course was official aws exam after stephen's course you can take this course uh, you can take this exam but there is one more thing you can do guys once you give few exams right you will know which areas you are lagging in for example for me the area i was lagging in was section 4 to be honest and the reason is there are a lot of terms which are slightly confusing guidelines for responsible ai and section 5 also security compliance and governance there are a lot of tools and lot of terms that you need to remember otherwise on the exam day you will forget so i thought that domain 4 and domain 5 are the areas where i need to put more focus for you it can be some other domain but whatever domain it is right now we are going to go and take the next step in the next step we are going to go to chat gpt and we are going to first add that file that we have downloaded so my file i downloaded on the desktop this is the file the same file okay the same file here same file i am downloading and i am saying act as an aws certification exam expert and help me with 10 sample questions in each section okay pay special focus on section 4 and section 5 wherever i make mistake then help me with related knowledge and add five more questions in that area so what i am doing i am simply uh, going to whichever my weaker area and i want to practice more in that area what will happen now i have given the knowledge so it will get, go and create the 50 questions you can simply start answering these questions one by one for example from domain 1 it is giving you some and then it will go give you from domain 2 domain 3 domain 4 domain 5 whichever areas you feel that you are little under confident ask it to give you more and then you can continue for example now now it has given me one uh, sorry part 1 right so it is asking me do you want to attempt or do you want to go to go to domain 2 so i have given 10 you can give 20 you can give 30 how many ever you want to give right just attach this uh, thing this knowledge base basically and it will give you the related questions you can make it hard you can make it easy how, however you want to make it go module by module and keep revising so three four step process first of all what you need to do you need to go and take a sample exam here second you have to go and take this stephen's course if you are somebody who knows little bit of aws ai etc if you are somebody who is very new into ai go and watch my playlist on aws you will learn a lot of things guys this is my most watched playlist and once you are confident take the stephens exam last exam uh, the after the course completion the last exam is there once you do that come to chat gpt and uh, you know uh, keep generating questions keep revising in the areas where you are weak if you spend around uh, 20 hours guys um, if you are somebody who is into aws or ai you can easily do it for somebody who is not into aws or ai they need to spend little more but not it's not like something which is not doable now i am trying to tell you you must do the certification for three main reasons guys and what are the three main reasons that is written on the top only you cannot afford nowadays in the technology to not understand how ai ml works number one so effectively demonstrate over all knowledge of ai ml you cannot afford to know how generative ai works so generative ai technologies and you cannot afford to know how aws or cloud works so associated aws services and tools so one complete section is on bedrock if you go to stephens course right you will see that one complete section is dedicated to aws bedrock and generative ai so these things basically whatever you are doing in technology now right you cannot afford to not know these things what is responsible ai what is ai ethics what is rag what this tool does what that tool does very high level very very high level i am not talking about detail level very high level but you must know and that is the reason i am insisting 
all of you whether you are into ai not into ai you must attempt this exam drop me a comment guys if you want to know more things about the exam drop me a comment if you want to know uh, any tools in specific in this playlist or you want me to cover and once you pass the exam drop me a comment as well saying this video helped you so that that will be very very uh, you know that motivates me a lot so i want all of you to have this badge on your linkedin very very soon and i wish all of you very best for that thanks for watching guys and see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care